So this tutorial is about the sickle scalers. These are super gingival instruments. They don't go underneath the gum line. Uh, there are two to complete the full dentition. We have the anterior and posterior sickle scalers. So one you can see here, this is a simple shanked instrument. It has just one bend, very straight shank like this. The other one is the posterior 204S. Um, instrument and this has a complex shank with a functional shank right here and then the terminal or last bend in the instrument here terminal shank so this is only for posterior so we're going to start with anterior first going back to tooth number we'll start with 10 so I'm going to, you don't have to put the tip of the instrument on the tooth to determine the correct working end because there's only one end. So here we're going to start on the side of the tip doing the toward surfaces. So I'm at 8 o'clock. We're going to go again a little bit before the midline to overlap and activate our stroke. Now this one because it has such a big bend in it you have to turn the instrument very fast. So I like it, I don't like to keep it too flat. So you don't want to be down like this. You're going to poke the gums. You don't want to be on the tip. So just on the very side of the tip. And you got to turn with every stroke, just like with the Explorer. And again, turn the tip inward of the tooth and you hug that tooth. So here we're going to go to 11, overlapping that midline. Turn, 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 really fast so we don't poke our gum line. Another thing to remember, we don't follow the gum line when we're turning. We always follow the tooth. So if we follow the gum line, I'm gonna go I'm gonna poke the gums really fast. We have to follow the tooth and turn, 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 hug that tooth. And that's how we do the toward surfaces. So now I'm going to come to 11, 12 o'clock doing the away surfaces. Again, starting a little bit before that midline on the side of the, t of the tip. And we have to turn really fast. You saw how fast I had to really crank that instrument. And turn into the tooth, feeling that proximal surface. And that is your anterior teeth. Now for posterior teeth, we use the paralleling technique because we have mirrored ends. So we're looking at that terminal shank again. So if I go over here and be at 10 to 11 o'clock for away surfaces of posterior teeth, put that tip in the distal surface. I'll just go here. And we see that the shank, the terminal shank, is parallel with the, the distal surface and the long axis of the tooth. If you use the incorrect end, it's going to wrap around the tooth completely. So this is incorrect. This is correct. So again, just like with our Explorer, we're going to start at the distal line angle. We're using a little bit firmer pressure if we find calculus as we're walking, if as we're walking we're going to use those feather light stroke like strokes until we find something to engage into, like calculus, and we're going to use firm lateral pressure then to remove it. But until then we're going to use feather like strokes. So start at the distal line angle and we're going to walk in all the way. Hug that tooth, turn the tip into the tooth, and then we're going to come back toward the mesial surface. Walk, walk, walk into the mesial. To here, and overlapping that distal line angle. Again, turning the tip to walk toward the mesial. And that is your 204S.